What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is, I believe it's week number 12, and I have nothing much, really, but I did get better uh, for, uh, from last week's video, the events of last week's video, and today I'm going to show you is the day I actually reveal how I made my little outro template. So uh, I'm using Motion, and you can see on the interface, um, the software used to screen record. But this is part of the motion interface, and we're going to go ahead and... I had to do a bunch of sound testing, but let's go ahead and get started. So you're going to see that little shape icon right about coming up next to the cursor right there. And then you're going to hit the rectangle one. Alright everybody, so... Once you um, uh, expand the rectangle, you'll want to adjust and put it in the desired area. And then once you do that, um, we're going to add a second rectangle. As, um, of course, most of the end screens in the YouTube interface have two little end screens for a video usually a playlist in the other one, and then a round one for your channel's icon or profile, little um, photo, whatever. So the left one is going to go into place now. And once again, this is the first time I've actually made an outro template, and then any improvements I do get, um, I will use those in creating another one uh, in time for uh, summer. So this is my spring template. And it will be used on all the videos all the way up until week number 28, I should say. And just adjusting it to fitting. I will go over into texting, but um, bef before I do that, I'm just focusing on the little uh, cards. And if they are larger than what the end screens have, the excess can, are, can typically be like little borders, which would make it nice and pretty. So that's kind of why I enlarge them a bit. And then, of course, I am I named them, so one of them says Playlist and one of them says Recent. Because one of those will be the Playlist, and then the other is going to be the Recent. And it's not the preceding before this video will be the most recent upload. And this will be a template that I'll be using on all the future videos. And eventually I'll get to some other advanced stuff, but until then. So here I'm making a round, so that's the same shape icon, but I just choose the circle. As once again, the, for the YouTube channel icon, they are round in the end screens. Once upon a time they used to be squares, but now they're round, just like on Instagram. So now that we do that, I'm going to put in some text in a couple minutes, but I'm just adjusting it to um, satisfaction. And then, of course, I will add some other little interesting particles towards the end. Well, it's going to cut off, actually. All right, so, sorry, I was just emptying my trash because I had to clamp some space so that I can, so there could be sufficient space to save this master. And then, once again, the number right there right now, that's actually the frame counts, not the number of seconds. So there's about 1,200 frames in this one. And I, I didn't have a stopwatch, so I couldn't count the number of frames per second. 
would be nice if I had one. I'll do that next time. And now that I've... So I basically created the master so that it ran for 20 seconds. And then the last, uh, so that it corresponds to the end of the video where you put your end cards and end screens in there. Because that's where the, um, that's how that algorithm works. So there. I don't know why it's pausing. I'm just going to. Oh, here we go. So let's go ahead and do a 3D text right there. So I'm going to enter it. And I'm going to enter recent. And it appears upside down. So I'm going to figure out how to turn it right side up. So let's try. So I'm trying to find the correct one that will turn it. There we go. So it's going to turn right side up now. And then I'm just going to position it so it goes right below. And of course the behaviors, like you can add some cool transitions, just like you would do with a keynote. Like how do you want the text to come in? So you'll see that in the finalized product. And then as soon as I position that, I will do the other text box. And the other text box will be for the playlist. And of course, usually the playlist, um, this time around it will be TSC the main series. But if it's a cooking video or a food tutorial, it will go into the vegan cooking playlist because... <laughs> so I'm just going to put a few more in this playlist. And then, of course, I'm going to make sure that it takes up two lines by going to a certain area and then pressing the return key. And for my viewers watching from the Puget Sound, that's return key is what we call an enter key. So we're going to... Make sure that it moves in a bit and just adjust that. And just like that, we're almost done with this. So what I'm going to do now is look for some particles. And I settled on a couple and I want to make sure that the text boxes and those cards would stand out very perfectly. So that's kind of why I did that. So I'm just I'm just going through all of the the particle backgrounds, and I'm I'm just going through some backgrounds right now. And I'll choose one for summer. So I'm just gonna leave it like outer space. For this one. And before we get into further detail, I'm going to go over the term of the week in just a couple moments. And I already went through motion as a term, so. Otherwise, I would have done it for this one. And by the way, we have sprung forward today, so make sure that you're, um, as of this video, so make sure you set your clocks forward. <laughs> It'll depend on the jurisdiction. Unless you're living like Arizona, then it doesn't really matter. See, I'm looking at some particles right now. And 
I did choose some preliminary music selection for this particular video, but um, I'm going to make a finalized selection for the um, any future videos. So, it, so just letting you know, it may be different from what um, you might hear in this particular video's outro. And with that, so that is going to conclude um, this particular coverage. I decided to eventually go with a couple, and you'll see that in the end result for this video. But other than that, um, I do want to thank you guys for watching. And the next slide will go over the term of the week. So now that we're one step closer to summer, we get longer days. So that means more time to um, film videos for you guys and take you to some beachfront locations. Hopefully I'll get to that soon. And now that we've reached the end of this particular part of the video, we're going to go ahead and roll the term of the week. The term of the week is recent. And the definition is having happened, begun, or have been done not too long ago or long before, belonging to a past period of time comparatively close to the present. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week. Let's roll the outro. Yeah.